Welcome to the Seychelles, a true piece of paradise. The Seychelles are consisted of 115 granite and coral islands. Much like South Africa, it's considered a melting pot with different influences from many nations, such as African, Asian, as well as European. When brought together, it makes for one vibrant culture. The first settlement in the Seychelles can be traced back to 1770, when it was colonized by the French. The nation was ceded to Britain in 1814, and the multinational influence created a diverse melting pot. The island of Seychelles, Archipelago uh, of Seychelles, is 115 island, and you can say the Seychelles is not older than 300 years old. It's been colonized, uh, and the first settlement was in the year 1770. And uh, the Seychelles itself, we come from three continents, Europe, Asia, and Africa. And uh, mostly a lot of us are dark-skinned people, but we are mixed. We are like a uh, cocktail of fruits. When you're coming to Ladig, the first thing you should not miss is actually you have to rent a bike. And uh, also what you don't have to miss, you don't have to miss the Union Estate, the Gantos Beach, the Susdaksha Beach, and up the north to go and see us severe, us patat, to do some very nice sightseeing and tell us for me. My top beach uh, holiday tips will be suntan lotion and also don't forget the hat, sunglasses and don't forget also to carry around a nice cold Cebu beer to the beach with you so that after a while when you are so hot you can cool yourself down. When on holiday you definitely want to experience the local culture and the best way to do that is to taste the local cuisine. Mm -mm -mm. At the heart of the capital city is the bustling Sir Selwyn Selwyn Clark Market, named after the late governor of Seychelles. Thankfully, locals simply call it Victoria Market. This is Victoria Market on Mahe Island, established in 1840. If you want a true local experience for fresh fruit, vegetables, seafood, as well as spices, this is the place to visit. You'll find ethnicities and heritage from all around the globe in Seychelles, and racial harmony is a mainstay of the Creole nation. Seychelles is also home to some of the biggest and oldest tortoises on the planet. The Aldabra giant tortoise comes from the Aldabra Atoll in Seychelles and are beloved by locals. Derek, I can't help but notice the size of these tortoises. Can you tell me a bit of their history? The big one, very big one are the males and the small ones are the females. And uh, they lay around 21 eggs in the breeding season. And uh, they take two months for the hatchling to go on. And the tortoises, when they hatch, they are the size of a matchbox. And it's after 15 years exactly that we're going to know if it's going to be a male or a female. I know that you guys are doing a lot to conserve these tortoises. This is one of the species that we, we want to keep them for forever. We want them to be the logo of the island of Seychelles. When the first French settlements were established in the 1700s, colonists grew spices and to this day the islands produce high quality spice crops. Today, people flock to the Seychelles for the pristine white beaches and turquoise ocean. But back in the 18th century, the island was a hub for the spice trade. To get a taste of a traditional spice plantation, visitors flock to Le Jardin du Roy on a 35 hectare orchard. Can you tell me a bit about the history around the spice garden? This uh, spice garden started since 1856 when my great great grandfather, Londoner, he bought this property in 1856. And since, you know, it's gone down in the family, I'm the fifth generation, you know. So four generations of people were born in this house. What types of spices do you produce? Pepper at this moment, and lots of nutmegs. That's the season for nutmegs. The vanilla we will get later. And we have citronelle, lemongrass. Cloves will come later in the year when the rains are coming. We have ginger, we grow our own ginger, our own curcuma, our own mint, and we have a little shop there where we sell all our produce, all our spices are sold there. Looking beyond the beaches, Seychelles also offers interesting architectural history, which speaks of its French and British colonial heritage. Additionally, Creole music and dance have their roots in African, Malagasy, and European rhythms and these influences can still be seen in simple street performances. The Seychelles Islands are full of vibrant history and cultural diversity. This is a piece of paradise that has to be experienced during your lifetime. Listen to this.